Hello friends, I am Jigdish Perk Associate. Today's topic is Engineering Thermodynamics. So in Engineering Thermodynamics, I will be explaining a numerical problem from the chapter First Law of Thermodynamics. So before going to this video, please press the subscribe button of our channel, the Mechanical Engineers theme and also click the bell icon so that you will get the notifications for new videos. So let's begin. First I will read the question. A stationary mass of gas is compressed without friction at a constant pressure of 0.105 MPa from an initial volume of 0.3 m3 to a final volume of 0.15 m3. There is a transfer of 37.6 kJ of heat from the gas during the process. Calculate the change in internal energy. Now I will analyze the question. The mass of the gas is constant. The gas is being compressed. During the compression of gas, there will be no friction. The compression of gas takes place during the constant pressure process. The constant pressure value is 0.105 MPa. The volume of the gas before compression is 0.3 m3. The volume of the gas after compression is 0.15 m3. During compression process, heat will be rejected. So the amount of heat rejected or heat transferred from the gas is 37.6 kJ. So in this question, we have to find the value of change in internal energy of the gas. Now I will list out the given conditions from the question. The constant pressure value of the gas is 0.105 MPa and it is taken as P. The initial volume of the gas is 0.3 m3 and it is taken as V1. The final volume of the gas is 0.15 m3 and it is taken as V2. The amount of heat transferred from the gas is minus 37.6 kJ and it is taken as Q. Okay, so here the negative sign indicates that the heat is being rejected or transferred from the gas. Okay, so by using these four conditions, we are going to find the value of change in internal energy of the gas. Now I will move to the solving technique. First, we will find the value of amount of work done for compressing the gas, and it is taken as W. The known formula for work done during constant pressure process is W is equal to P into V2 minus V1. In this formula, we know the values of P, V2 and V1. So just substitute the values. We get W is equal to 0 0.105 MPa into 0.15 m3 minus 0.3 m3. In this RHS, mega Pascal is 10 power 6 Newton per meter square and 0 0.15 meter cube minus 0 0.3 meter cube is minus 0 0.15 meter cube. So the next step will be W is equal to 0 0.105 into 10 power 6 Newton per meter square into minus 0 0.15 meter cube. In this RHS, split the numerical terms and SA units. We get W is equal to 0 0.105 into 10 power 6 into minus 0 0.15 into Newton per meter square into meter cube. In this RHS, 0 0.105 into 10 power 6 into minus 0 0.15 is minus 15.75 into 10 power 3 and Newton per meter square into meter cube is Newton meter because meter cube divided by meter square is meter. So the next step will be W is equal to minus 15.75 into 10 power 3 Newton meter. In this RHS 10 power 3 Newton meter is kilojoule. So the next step will be W is equal to minus 15.75 kilojoule. And consider this one as equation 1. So the amount of work done in compressing the gas is minus 15.75 kJ. The negative sign indicates that the work is done on the gas. Okay. 
Next, we will find the value of change in internal energy of the gas, which is taken as delta U. For finding the value of change in internal energy of the gas, we will use the formula of first law of thermodynamics of closed system. And the formula is Q is equal to delta U plus W. And consider this one as equation 2. In this formula, we know the value of Q and W from equation 1. So just substitute the values we get minus 37.6 kilojoule is equal to delta U plus of minus 15.75 kilojoule. Now bring this minus 15.75 kilojoule to the LHS. We get minus 37.6 kilojoule plus 15.75 kilojoule is equal to delta U. So in this LHS, minus 37.6 kilojoule plus 15.75 kilojoule is minus 21.85 kilojoule. So the next step will be delta U is equal to minus 21.85 kilojoule. So the value of change in internal energy of the gas is minus 21.85 kilojoule. Okay. So this brings an end to the explanation part of this video. I hope you all would have understood. If any doubts are there, please do comment in comment box. And remember to like, share and comment on our videos. Thank you friends.